Okay, here, here's my hesitancy. This is where you're hearing my hesitancy. I don't think they're going to let you have that opportunity with bullion, which are those new coins and the bars. The problem on our hands here. And here, though, is the opportunity. I'm going to show this to you just in this one little piece because this Chinese reseller is buying up used Rolexes, Hermes Birkin bags, during the economic slowdown. You think they're paying retail? I don't think so. He said the number of ZZers, consigners, or people putting up their goods for sale has soared 40% so far in 2022, because this is also a forced sale, right? If you need to raise capital, you're going to sell whatever the market will buy. Uh, the platform now has 12 million members, but eventually, because these are not income producing assets, but this is where it starts, right? So when you need to come up with money, you will sell whatever the market is willing to buy. And when that happens, what do you think happens to prices? they start to come down, not just at the resellers, but also you're going to see it happen at the, at the um, corporate level too, because they're now going to have to compete with this, but they're also going to have to come up with money. Forced sales. If you have gold, when these opportunities present, you are going to be able to convert your gold into not, we're not talking about handbags, but you're going to be able to convert this gold into income producing assets so that on the whole other side of this mess, you come out better because you're not in a position of for, to have to sell for sales. Corporations are in that position. Individuals are in that position. Maybe even the government is getting in that position, but you are going to be in a position to take advantage of these opportunities and they're coming and they're coming quickly. Even the ECB. Now we are getting so many warnings from the central bankers primarily and from governments. <coughs> Excuse me, getting excited about this because I'm able to show you in real time that the opportunities are now at the beginning of this. That's why you got to have this. ECB will warn of market correction risk this week. The vice president tra trails financial stability review Wednesday. So you'll be, you'll be seeing that tomorrow, but what they're talking about is low liquidity could amplify a sell-off. With all the central banks having done this, uh, well, with all the central banks printing massive amounts of money, how could there be this lack of liquidity? Maybe because rather than taking advantage of it and retiring debt and getting in a position or turning around, well, we'd certainly know central banks have been buying more gold than they ever, ever have just through the third quarter of this, of this uh, year. They're getting in a position to buy up those assets. And we also saw a huge jump in bar and coin demand up 36% year over year. So those people that have positioned into, into gold, Okay, here, here's my hesitancy. This is where you're hearing my hesitancy. I don't think they're going to let you have that opportunity with bullion, which are those new coins and the bars. That's why I only do the collectibles. And you guys know that if you've been watching me, you know that I don't buy that. But people are trying to do the right thing. And people are trying to get in the position so that number one, the wealth that they've already managed to accumulate remains intact. And then number two, so that you can take advantage of these opportunities as they present. Okay, let's go back to the slides now. Because repricing risks and liquidity difficulties. So repricing risks means the markets go from here to here, okay? and liquidity difficulties render financial markets and non-bank financial institutions vulnerable to disorderly risk adjustments like Black Monday in 1987. Uh, let's see, investment funds. 
So we're talking ETFs, which don't have to hold a lot of cash, typically mutual funds. So investment funds, liquid asset holdings remain low and could thus amplify a market correction in a forced selling scenario. Because if you bought all this crap on debt, margin debt, or any other debt, and the market goes against you, the market drops, well, you got a margaging call. You've got to come up with cash. And so what do you have to do? You have to sell off some of your holdings and then that makes, that pushes the markets down even more. That's that feedback loop. So you have to sell more and there you go. <coughs> You're in trouble, but make no mistake. I mean, the fact that they keep warning us that there might be forced selling is telling you that that's what they expect to happen. They expect a market crash to happen. Now, what will happen to spot gold when the market crashes? Spot gold will most likely sell off. But what will happen to physical gold? Those premiums are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. This is what's going to save you. So if you haven't started to build that position, click that Calendly link below. Get yourself into a position to weather this storm because Inflation impacts everybody, including the gold industry. So ASIC is all in sustaining costs. So it's the cost to mine gold. And it increased by 9% quarter over quarter. That's a lot, 9% quarter over quarter to reach $1,232, their highest level on record back to 2012. This was primarily driven by inflation of miners, local input costs, so workers costs, um, but also diesel prices, electricity tariffs, and consumable prices. And this is actually higher than going back there. I don't know where they only went back to 2012. I'm going to look at that more deeply to see where we've ever had this level of cost. It also may put a floor underneath gold spot because it may not because those are just traders and there's as many contracts as they want to create to suppress the price, but don't be fooled. That's, I guess my point in this because the markets are very, very fragile and forced liquidations are really a big deal. If you're holding those fiat money products and we don't know who's going to survive that yet. But what we do know is that inflation is not going away anytime soon. And it's not like a price goes up and then it comes back down. It typically, it, the whole system is based on never ending compounding inflation. But the problem is, is we're at the end and that's why we're getting all of these funny results. And that's why we're getting, that's why the system is so fragile and also why we're getting all of these warnings. Inflation impacts everyone as, and as demand in some areas may fall. And I'm talking about gold here for a minute, like in technology, because people aren't spending the money on those iPhones or what have you demand in other areas grows central bankers, most gold in history and investors third up 36% year over year. So I believe that what we're now witnessing is the flight from fiat to real safety. Where do you want to be in this? I want to be holding this. I sleep well at night. I don't worry about what happens in the markets other than to tell you what's happening in those markets.